Hey, howdy guys, Connor McCaskill here, and today we're talking about the X-T4 with Zach Mayfield. I'm social distancing! We're practicing social distancing here while collabing. It's gonna be kind of interesting, but without any further ado, let's talk about the Fujifilm X-T4. Oh my god! Don't worry, I got you. Right. Oh, thank you, brother. Yeah, get the sound in there. Oh Hi, YouTube. Hi. <laughs> Hi YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I love those intros. Hey YouTube. Today we're talking about the Fujifilm X-T4, which both Zach and I have pre-ordered. Yes. So that's really exciting. It is. Although we're both concerned with this whole epidemic that shall not be named pandemic. I'm a little nervous that because of all this craziness that the pre-orders might get delayed or production. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. It's supposed to come April 30th, which is somewhat soon, but honestly, I'm not too, too hopeful. But that aside, let's go ahead and talk about the X-T4 and how we think it's going to fit into 2020 with the current camera environment. Correct. So one of the things I'm definitely looking forward to with the X-T4 is the inclusion of IBIS. Mm -hmm. I was a GH5 user for three years, and one of my favorite features was the awesome stabilization in that camera. So I'm stoked that Fuji is going to be implementing that. From what I see, it actually looks pretty decent. Yeah. And I imagine that when you pair the internal IBIS, which I guess that was kind of redundant because I stands for internal. Yeah. When you compare the uh, when you pair the internal IBIS with the O uh, with the O OIS 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 with the OIS of the <laughs> of the lens. <laughs> Uh, I think it's gonna be a really uh, magical combination. I'm really excited to test that out when I finally get my hands on the camera. Okay, that's good. So another thing with the X-T4 that I'm really excited about is that flippy Audi screen. And before this car comes and runs us over, I've been using the X-T3 and it's been really we difficult. Should, we should move. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. That's them. So yeah, I've been using the X-T3 for all my YouTube work and filming myself without a flip screen is really, really difficult. So I'm so glad that Fuji's bringing that into the X-T4. Yeah, I think it's finally going to make Fuji more of a mainstay in that solo YouTube game because without that flip screen, it's pretty much impossible. I was also filming with my X-T3 solely for my YouTube and that's a huge reason why I went ahead and picked up the R. I talked about this before, Malachi right now. Hi, Malachi. Hi. He's shooting Hi. on the R right now for me and uh, yeah, it's nice to have a flip screen. It's actually, it it's super critical for YouTube. I don't know why people complain about it. They, I, all, they think it's like a YouTuber thing, but it's so nice for photography and any kind of just getting different angles. I think it's more useful than just a proper tilt screen. Now, I have talked to photographers about this and what they tend to say is that they like their eye line to be in the center of the camera, which in some respects I get, but I think that the flexibility of the flip screen outweighs that, uh, but that's just, of course, our opinion. Yeah. Flip screen or die. So it's been confirmed that the Fuji X-T4 has the same car driving by. So it's been confirmed that the Fuji X-T4 has the exact same sensor and image processor as the X-T3. Now when we first heard this, it was kind of disappointing. It was probably definitely the most disappointing news about the X-T4. Originally, there were rumors that it was going to be a 6K sensor, which was really exciting, but unfortunately it's not. However, on the positive side, this might keep the cost down of the X-T4, which is really cool, because the X-T4 comes in at only $1,800. Plus. Which is pretty amazing for the specs that we're going to be getting out of the X-T4. Okay, so why don't we talk specs, because that is one of the areas where this camera is really going to shine. Yeah, we know that it's gonna do 4K up to 60 frames per second in 10 bit. Which is nice. It's gonna be so nice. And also 1080 up to 240 frames per second. And I think that's 10 bit too. As far as we know, it's going to be 10 bit in all frame rates, which Crazy. is really nice. Internal, which is going to be 420 10 bit. Now, if you record out, you can actually get 422 10 bit, which is just that much nicer. Beautiful. So that's really exciting. Unfortunately, it's not gonna be doing 4K 120. That is slightly disappointing. I don't know. I don't think it's that big of a deal, but I it think would have been a nice touch. Yeah, it would have been a nice touch. I think for the price at $1,700 for the body, what we're getting is really good. Yeah, I'd have to agree with that. All right. So guys, as a whole, I think that the X-T4 is a really exciting camera, especially for the YouTube marketplace, because where I think that the X-T3 left off, the X-T4 really picks up nicely. Yeah, I think this camera just has super, super good specs for the price. You get the 4K60, flip screen, good autofocus, great color, cars in the background. Where's the car? Oh, it's done. 
It's gonna be a good camera. With the X-T4, we're getting amazing specs for a low price. The 4K60, 1080, 240, great color, good autofocus. And that's something else that we didn't touch on. The X-T4 is actually going to be getting a new film simulation, which is really cool. I can never quite remember the name. I know it's, I think it's Bleach. Bleach Bypass? Eterna? Or Bleach Eterna okay. Bypass? Oh, God damn it. There's the... the mass. <laughs> What a happy man. Oh. That being said, I'm super excited for the X-T4. Zach, I know you're super excited for the X-T4. Thanks so much for coming on. Dude, dude, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Hi, I'm Malachi Sali, and I'm here to talk to you about the current epidemic that is plaguing our society. Please, wash your hands, stay away from other people, and practice proper social distancing. Please, consult your authorities for more information. In the meantime, please like and subscribe. Thank you. I'm not doing any of this.